Welcome to Maths class. So today, guys, we are gonna do a numerical that is related to Euler's theorem of homogeneous functions. And the numerical is of verification. It states that verify Euler's theorem for function z is equal to x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 divided by x1 by 4 plus y1 by 4. So as we have to verify Euler's theorem for the given function that is z firstly we have to uh, show that this given z function is a homogeneous function then only we would be able to verify Euler's theorem for this function so to verify that z is a homogeneous function let us firstly write what is z here z is equal to x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 divided by x1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4 so now we know that a homogeneous function is uh, like z is equal to x uh, power n and then f y upon x so this is how a homogeneous function is now we have to uh, show z in this way and here n will n will be the order of the function so i think so that we can take common from the numerator x1 by 3 and then in the bracket there will be 1 plus y upon x power 1 by 3 and then similarly we can do the same in the new, new, uh, denominator sorry and uh, here we will take common x1 by 4 and then in the bracket the remainder will be 1 plus y upon x1 by 4. So now we can see that uh, this that is in here is a function in y upon x. So this we have done and now just we have to find uh, this x power n so now as these are in numerator and denominator so when uh, this x1 by 4 will go upwards then the powers will get subtracted and we can say that uh, z will be equal to x 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 this will be the power and then it will be multiplied by this f y upon x so i am writing this uh, this red color that i have written in a box this is a function in y upon x so i have written it a function in y upon x now when we will do 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 the lcm would be 12 and definitely it will become in the numerator 4 minus 3 so it becomes 1 by 12 so we can say that the z is equal to x 1 by 12 uh, into function of y upon x. So we have represented z as a homogeneous function and as you can see the n that is in power of x here in case of z it is 1 by 12. So n is equal to 1 by 12 and that is the order of the function z so this is a, a order of z function and since we have represented in this way the we can say that z is a homogeneous function so this we have proved and now we will uh, proceed towards verifying Euler's theorem for z function now we know that Euler theorem states that x into partial derivative of z z with respect to x plus y into partial derivative of z with respect to y is equal to n into z where z is a homogeneous function and n is the order of that homogeneous function so this is what Euler's theorem states if you don't know how it came how it is proved then you can see one of my previous videos that is on the proof of Euler's theorem of homogeneous functions then you will come to know that how it is proved so in case of z in the question that we are given to solve the n is equal to 1 by 12 and that we have already proved so in order to verify Euler's theorem we need to show that 
x into partial derivative of z with respect to x plus y into partial derivative of z with respect to y will be equal to 1 by 12 into z. So this is what we need to prove in order to verify Euler's theorem now. So let's proceed towards proving it. Now we know that z is equal to x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 divided by x1 by 4 plus y1 by 4. So now if we would take logarithm on both of the sides, then definitely this will become that log z will be equal to log of all of this x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 divided by x1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4. So uh, as we now know that uh, whenever we have log b divided by a it is equal to log of b minus log of a. So similarly this formula can be applied on this too. So when we will apply this formula on the right hand side the log z will be equal to log of x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 minus log of x1 by 4 plus y1 by 4. So we have taken log on both sides because now we are going to differentiate this equation differentiate with respect to x we are going to actually partially differentiate differentiate partially with respect to x which equation this equation that we have written now only we are going to do this because we know on the left left hand side it is log z so when we will differentiate uh, it will become 1 upon z and partial derivative uh, we can just do it why waste time saying it um, when we will differentiate partially with respect to x, x on the left hand side it will become 1 by z that is uh, derivative of log z and now as it is uh, with respect to x so definitely there would be partial derivative of z with respect to x so this has become the left hand side and similarly when we will do uh, partially di differentiating with respect to y the same thing will uh, also come uh, just uh, there will be y instead of x here so when we will add uh, the z that we need on the right hand side will be provided by this 1 by z that is on the left hand side. So that is why we have done log here so that that when we will differentiate this we can have 1 by z on the left hand side. So continuing when we will do the partial de de derivative with respect to x on the right hand side this will become so log of x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 it will become uh, x1 by 3 y1 by 3 this will come in denominator and then again there will be derivative of x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 since we are doing partially derivative with respect to x so here in this uh, term y is a uh, constant so y1 by 3 derivative will be equal to 0 and only the derivative of x1 by 3 will happen so 1 by 3 will come here 1 by 3 okay and uh, now x uh, 1 by 3 minus 1 so 1 by 3 minus 1 uh, a power will decrease so definitely it will be equal to x power minus 2 by 3 and similarly when we will do this derivative so x 1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4 will come in denominator and then 1 by 4 will come here and then uh, similarly y 1 by 4 derivative is equal to 0 because y is a constant here and then 1 by 4 minus 1 this power will become minus 3 by 
4. So now as we know that we also need x on uh, in multiplication with partial derivative of z with respect to x. So what we will do? We will multiply this equation. We will multiply the whole equation with x which this equation. So as we will do uh, we can see that there will come x divided by z and then partial derivative of z with respect to x and this will be equal to 1 by 3. So now uh, x will be multiplied with this x power minus 2 by 3. So powers will add that is x power minus 2 by 3 plus 1. So 1 minus 2 by 3 it is 1 by 3. So the power of x will be 1 by 3 and it will be divided by x 1 by 3 plus y 1 by 3. So x will also be multiplied with here x minus 3 by 4. So now here also powers will be added x power minus 3 by 4 plus 1. This will be equal to x power 1 by 4 and same, same in the denominator x 1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4. So this is a equation that we have. Now uh, we will get a similar equation by partially differentiating this equation that we had first log z this equation uh, with respect to y we will partially differentiate. So we can just say partially differentiating with respect to y. Which equation we are doing? This equation. The same equation. This one. Log z is equal to log x1 by 3 plus y1 by 3 minus log x1 by 4 plus y1 by 4. So we are partially derivative this equation with respect to y. And now we can see that the same thing will appear on the left hand side as its derivative will be 1 by z but sim uh, 1 by z but as we are doing with respect to y so here will come partial derivative of z with respect to y and the same thing will be here uh, as it we are doing its derivative so here in denominator will come x 1 by 3 plus y 1 by 3 and here will come 1 by 3 because then we will do the derivative of y 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 that is the power will come forward here because x is a constant because we are doing partially derivative with respect to y. So x 1 by 3 derivative will be equal to 0 and the power of y 1 by 3 that will come forward and a power will get decreased. So y 1 by 3 minus 1 it will also become the same and that is y minus 2 by 3 as we have got it in here. So same thing will be happened. Now I don't want to bore you by telling you the similar things. So I just copy it from this equation. Just x instead here will be y. So y minus 3 by 4 and then the same x 1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4. So this we have got. Now we need to do the same step that is multiply this equation with y. So now when we will multiply this equation with y on the left hand side we will get y divided by z partial derivative of z with respect to y and this will be equal to 1 by 3 y 1 by 3 because we are multiplying with y and the powers will add minus 2 by 3 plus 1 it will become 1 by 3 and then here is x 1 by 3 plus y 1 by 3 and here it will become minus 1 by 4 y minus 3 by 4 plus 1 it will become 1 by 4 x 1 by 4 plus y 
1 by 4. So this equation we have got as a second equation as the first equation was this. So we have these two equations with us and now we are going to add these two equations. So when we will add these two equations on the left hand side we will get uh, 1 by z common and then here it will be x partial derivative of z with respect to x mine uh, sorry we are going addition we are doing addition so plus uh, y partial derivative derivative of z with respect to y so as i have told you that we need to prove this okay and now we have got x into partial derivative of z with respect to x plus y partial derivative of z with respect to y this we have got in here and this z will go on the right hand side and then it will uh, go upwards on the right hand side so that means we are on the right path we are doing it right and now when we will add the right hand sides I think so that uh, 1 by 3 will become common here along with x 1 by 3 plus y 1 by 3 that is denominator and uh, only these will add x 1 by 3 plus y 1 by 3 the numerators these will add and it will become 1 by 3 so when they will add they, they will uh, come in the numerator and this will simply be 1 by 3 oh wow it's a surprise the new denominator is also the same because these were common and the same thing will happen in case of uh, here the next terms that are I have to write it like minus 1 by 4 so when we will add this and this will add a numerator and this the denominator it will it is common so it will remain same so it will be x 1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4 and it will be divided by same so now we can uh, see clearly that the numerator and denominator in case of here and here is same and so same is the case in here. So definitely these are cut and I can say that now we have 1 by z x partial derivative of z with respect to x plus y partial derivative of z with respect to y this is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 this is only what we are left with and uh, we know 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 lcm is 12 and in the numerator it will be 4 minus 3 that is 1 so it has become 1 minus uh, sorry uh, 1 divided by 12 and now so will move this z uh, in upwards here here it is 1 by 12 and it is z so finally finally we have verified Euler's theorem for verified Euler's theorem for the given function function I am writing in short form z why because this was the same that we needed to prove we need to show that x into partial derivative of z with respect to x same plus y partial derivative of z with respect to y it is also same is equal to 1 by 12 into z so this is proved that is our numerical is solved because Euler theorem is verified for the given function z so hope that you have understood it very well if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section so bye bye